Hey guys, Phoenix fire crews tell us they've responded to more than three dozen calls for mountain rescue since that pilot program started on really hot days when they try to keep hikers off the trails and the danger is real. So we spoke to a couple of hikers themselves to see what safety lessons they've learned when it comes to temp skyrocketing. I like that. Uh, 32 ounces. We have a ton of water, like a um, ton of sunscreen. We don't plan on going far. We just wanted to see it since we were in the area. Hikers hoping to capture the beauty of Camelback without a beat down from the sun here in the valley. That it's very hot. <laughs> so really not familiar. It's you can tell the difference like Florida heat. It's so sticky, but here it's just ungodly hot. Casey Keene, quick to admit the Arizona heat is nothing to flirt with, especially learning that Phoenix Fire has responded to nearly 200 mountain rescues since January of 2021, including at least 50 mountain rescues near Echo Canyon Trailhead. We understand the dangers and we don't want to go like hike all the way to the top. We really just want to come and see it. And even with park rangers at multiple trailheads, including Echo Canyon, warning hikers about about the heat, plenty of people still take their chances. <laughs> this is the only time we can make it, so this is really it. I come after work, so it's, I try to get here by 4.30, but I've been pushing it later. The best thing you can do, know your limits, hydrate, stay on the trails, and try to hike with someone at all times. Rachel Cole, 12 News.